<laughs> oh no, God is good. Eh? <laughs> Amen. God bless you, church. Can we bless the Lord tonight? He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't we 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 often like to have this big up the preacher thing, you know. But I'm telling you, there is something new taking place. Everybody is arising. And everybody is rising up to fulfill God's mandate on their life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are rising up together to fulfill every kingdom assignment that God has for us. Amen. So it's not about the glorified preacher. Amen. It's about the believers who are awakened to the resurrection power of Christ that is running Amen. With patience, the race that is set before us. Amen. Glory to God. And so Easter is an exciting time. Um, resurrection is, a, is, a, is an exciting time. I try, well, usually we have convention. Amen. And so even though things are different, I try my best to keep it convention-like. So I've been at church from Wednesday. Amen. Hallelujah. And then Friday, I was at church again. Yesterday, I was in another service. Today, I've been about in about three. Amen. This is awesome. Amen. Yes, I'm a resurrection Sunday junkie for Jesus. <laughs> Thank God. Amen. For his greatness and his power. Many of you haven't seen me for a long time. You guys know um, that I'm studying and I've um, been in placement at the Elim Church. Amen. And God has been with us there. Um, God is good. I'm nearly at the end of my final year in studies. Amen. So I can only thank God for that. Amen. But you know that I'm a son of this great organization. So, amen. I'm no stranger. Amen. So let's just get into God and get into what he has for us. I'll be with us very shortly. Amen. Not a lot to say because so much has been said. Amen. But I want us to just look into a few things in 1 Corinthians 15. Amen. Tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As we look at our resurrected Lord. And I really want to concentrate on the victory that we have through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's look at verse, um, verse 55. Uh, we'll, we'll start at the beginning as well, but let's just go from verse 55 for now. Amen. Glory to God. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 55. It says, oh, death. I want you to remember that. Oh, death, mm, my God, where is thy sting? Yeah, that means death has a sting, but the sting has now gone. And we're going to find out why the sting has been removed out of death. Amen. Oh, grave. Amen. Where is thy victory? Mm, hallelujah. It, it sounds to me like the grave has lost its victory. The grave used to rejoice because souls entered down there, but something has happened and the grave is no longer rejoicing. We need to find out what has happened. Glory to Jesus. I feel the presence of the Lord already. Amen. The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, before we do anything else tonight, I want us to give thanks to God for the victory that we have through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I want us to give Hallelujah. thanks to God for Thank the victory you. Mm. That we have through the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want somebody from Croydon to unmute and thank God for the victory that we have through Jesus Christ. Quickly, somebody from Croydon, just unmute and thank God for the victory. Thank you. Croydon, you're too slow. Somebody from Bristol, unmute and thank God for the victory that we have through Jesus Christ. Bristol, you're too slow. 
Somebody from uh, um, no, no, Alan Rock, come Sister Joy, unmute and thank God for the victory that we have through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise Amen. the Lord, praise the Lord, praise Amen. the Lord, praise Amen. the Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you for the victory. We thank you. We thank you for the victory because death has no sting that we are feeling now. We're not going to feel that sting. We give God thanks for the victory thank because you, we're going to have eternal life. And when we die in Christ, Lord. we will hear the trumpet sound. And when the trumpet sound, we're going to rise to meet our rise. Savior. We we give him the glory. We give him the praise. Thank we you, worship Jesus. God. We praise him. We Hallelujah. praise him. That you cannot Hallelujah. sing us all glory. Hallelujah. Glory we give him the glory. glory we give God. him the praise. We worship God. God. We are here to praise him because yes. grave has got no victory. No oh God, victory. he raised from the dead. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. glory. Yes, we worship God. We are here to Hallelujah. praise him. We are here to lift him up. Oh, we are here to magnify his name. Because he raised again that we don't have to wait upon that high priest mm. until he goes up into the holies of holies Return. it was once a year but now we can face yes. Christ our redeemer Amen. from face to face with him with all the problems with all the struggles and when we face him Oh, glory to God. He give us the power to overcome. And if he didn't give us the power, he said in his word, his grace is sufficient for the needs and his strength to will make perfect. Are you weak today? God is here to strengthen you. He give him the glory. We give him the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> hey, Mama Joy, you know I love you. Amen. Amen. You see, we have so much to thank God for. Hallelujah. Mom, you see, I can finish now because mom has finished. Amen. The message. What, what I want us to do is I want us to appropriate this victory that we have through Jesus Christ. We're in a season where we have been hard pressed. We have been going through challenges. We have been suffering. We have been under oppressions. We have gone through troubles and trials, sicknesses, uh, uh, confusion, fear. So much negative stuff has been happening to us. But I want us to renew and restore our faith and conviction in the power of the resurrected king in the name of Jesus. You might say, well, it's not me, Brother Richard. I, uh, my faith is all right. Uh, I'm not doubting. Uh, but I can tell you that in this coronavirus season, many pastors have put down their mic and have given up. Uh, many leaders uh, have, have thrown in the towel. Yes. They lost their yes. confidence. And uh, Revelation reminds us that we must strengthen the things that remain. Yes, that's ready yes, to yes, die. Yes, and so yes, uh, yes. you better receive this word of prophecy because prophecy comes to strengthen you. Prophecy comes to encourage you. Prophecy comes to establish you in the things of God. And I'm here to declare to you tonight, amen, that there is victory through the resurrected King. Amen. Hallelujah. There's victory. There's victory. I want to empower you tonight. There were three enemies. Ekoria Bashanda Rabba. Hallelujah. Three enemies, three tyrants that we have in our life. As reminded this morning, Ekoria, that the word tells us that all oh death, where is your sting? All oh grave, where is your victory? Amen. The three tyrants that trouble every single one of us every single day. Amen. Is the tyrant of sin. Uh, the tyrant of death and the tyrant of Satan. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Sin, death, and Satan. All right? These are the three things that we, we, we are fighting against. But these are the three major things that God has given us victory over. Amen. Through the Lord Jesus Christ. When we begin to unpack sin... I once was lost, but now I'm for. I thank God. 
that he saved a wretch like me and my sins from 50 and 40 and 30 and 20 years ago. Aye, 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 aye. It's easy to think that the sin aspect is always for the somebody else and not for me. Hallelujah. It's easy to consider, amen, that the sins are for those who are in, in, in sin and are and are, are, are drinking and living their life in all different kind of ways. But can I remind us believers that, you know, when we disobey God, that's a sin. You know, when we don't uh, uh, fulfill our obligation to the Lord, that's a sin. You know, if we tell God that we're going to do something and we don't do it, that's also a sin. Not because we're not stealing and smoking and fornicating and doing those things. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we have to understand that Jesus Christ has come to destroy sin. The Bible tells us that uh, all that is in the world is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. And these are the things that come to deceive us and to keep us under the, the, the bondage or the hold of sin. Glory to God. Sin is the root cause of our brokenness and the brokenness in society, the brokenness in schools, the brokenness, uh, hallelujah, in our in our homes and in, in, in fellowships and families. There's so much brokenness, uh, but sin is at the cause of it. Yeah, many families that have been disfragmented in this season, relationships broken down, marriages broken. Amen. We were, we were, we had just a few weeks ago, I was sharing that a young child had killed himself. He was a, ch a child of a pastor. I can only imagine the pain, amen, that they are going through, uh, having experienced that. But children are, are, are turning and, and, and doing all kinds of things to themselves. Even yesterday, I, I came up upon a, a, a young person who was in great distress attempting to kill themselves on social media come on church hallelujah we have to tap into the power of god and release the power of god and let the world know that there is a power greater than the power of sin that jesus christ on the cross has broken and dismantled every stronghold every influence every power over sin and has given us the victory amen not just for the penalty of sin but even for the strength and the power of sin itself and when you read Romans chapter 6 uh, amen the scripture reminds us uh, amen let me just do it for us read it for us so we can just get that so we can amen I should have turned to it before Romans 6 reminds us hallelujah thank you Jesus amen from verse 8 it tells me that now if we be dead with Christ we, not, we believe that we shall also live with him Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. That's Christ. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. This is for us now. Likewise, reckon ye also yourself to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Come on, you better declare that with me. Come on, I am dead unto sin. You're not helping me. Amen. Oh, I am dead unto sin. Yeah. I am dead unto sin. Otherwise, dead unto sin. if you don't answer me, you don't have to go back to Sister Joy. You know, I am dead unto sin. I'm dead. And I am alive unto God. Come up, say, I am alive, I'm alive unto God. God. I am alive, I'm alive unto God. God. Sometimes there are some negative stuff that want to come upon us, some situation we go to. And sometimes the sin aspect wants to raise its head, but just remind yourself, I am dead unto sin. Hallelujah. But I am alive unto God. Thank you, amen. Jesus. Amen. Likewise, amen. Um, I'm alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Then it says, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that you should obey in the lust thereof. Neither yield your members as instruments on, on, to unrighteousness and sin, but yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Guess what? For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but we are under grace. Somebody thank the Lord. Come on, thank Amen. him. Hallelujah. Thank that he has Lord. given us victory. Amen. Thank Over the Lord. tyrant of sin. Sin has been broken. 
amen, to the death and the resurrection of my Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's talk about death for a minute. Death has stung us this year. Hallelujah. And last year, and since the pandemic, we have lost so many friends, so yes. many loved ones, so many yes. family members, not yes. all relating to COVID. Amen. But there has been loss. There has always been loss. Hallelujah. Yes. And this is why I say the grave once had victory. Oh, Lord. No more. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Satan was arguing with my, Michael over what happened to the body of Moses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because uh, the grave has always been greedy, uh, yes. wanting to lock people down yes. in hell. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. But I thank God that Jesus Christ went to hell for me. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And he preached the gospel down yes. there to the spirits that were in yes, prison the word yes, says yes. hallelujah hallelujah yes, and he has a large hell not for me but for satan and his demons yes. and he has been offered up as the first fruit unto righteousness in heaven and now the power of death has been broken because yes. jesus christ rose from the dead Amen. in victory for you and me glory to god Amen. death steals our future yes. death robs us comes to rob us yes. of our health. Yes. My God. And sometimes you need to fight death by speaking life because in the blood of Jesus there is life. And sometimes you got to don't sit down and allow anything that the enemy wants to do in our life just to happen and just see it as natural because what God has done for us is supernatural. Oh my yes. God. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord Jesus when he says to the disciples for what is impossible with man is possible with God. I know a God that can heal from all kind of diseases. I know a God that opens blinded eyes. I know a God, hallelujah, 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 who opens deaf ears. I know a God who turned people who are mentally unstable and mental illness people around. I know a God who drove out legions and devils out of people and sent them into pigs. Come on, our God, our mighty, mighty God has delivered us from death he has broken the power of sin and death so we don't have to be in fear of death hallelujah because the sting of death has been removed hallelujah because guess what to be absent from the body is to be present with the lord Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was declaring with my brother, hallelujah, that three things happens to me in the pandemic. I'll either get corona and uh, I'll either never get corona or I will get it and overcome it or I will get it and die from it. But even if I die from it, I still have the victory because the Lord has called me home and I am not wandering around. I am in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Why are you fearing death? Why are we fearing death? The power and the sting of death has been swallowed up. Yes. Oh God, thank you. You better thank him that he has conquered death. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has defeated death on the cross. The last one is Satan. Hallelujah. I know we blame him for everything. Yeah. Sometimes it's me, but we still blame him. Sometimes it's our disobedience, but we still blame him. Times uh, we don't do what we should do, and he gets the blame for it. I'm not advocating for him. He's a wicked, wicked, hallelujah. He's wicked, and he's a liar. Amen. But guess what? Revelation tells us uh, in 7 that the accuser of the brethren <laughs> has been cast down. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The accuser of the brethren has been cast, cast down. down. You ain't rejoicing enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ain't giving God praise enough. Hallelujah. 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 He can lie. He can deceive. He can do what he wants to do. But guess what? The accuser, Cobra Mashanda, of the brethren, a Cobra Masanda, has been, hallelujah, cast down. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord tells us in verse 11 that they, that's me and you, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. 
Do you have a testimony of the greatness of God? Do you have a testimony of the triumphment of God over brokenness, sickness? Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus Christ reigns over every satanic agenda. Hallelujah. That he tries to do in our life. Now, Amen. The, the, I love something that Jesus said on the cross. Sometimes, I'm at times going to think, well, listen, sometimes uh, we misread the conversation between Satan and Jesus in the mountain. So Satan takes Jesus up on the mountain and he says, listen, look at all this. If you just bow down and worship me, I will give you all this. And then we sometimes say, well, how can Satan be giving of Jesus you know, the, this, what doesn't belong to him. But I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you this way. Yes, it belongs to Satan. It does belong to Satan. Amen. These are satanic establishments uh, that he has established in the world. The world, the world, not the earth, but the world. World systems, satanic uh, systems that he has uh, strategically placed in the world. He influences governments. He influences people. He influences high places. Uh, Second uh, Corinthians 4 tells us uh, about the, 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 the God of this age that blinds. It is speaking of Satan. Hallelujah. Uh, but Jesus did not need to bow to get that. Oh, my God. Because not a few many days from now, he was going to die and snatch it anyway. Ah, he was going to take it by force. Yeah, Hallelujah. Right. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness yeah, thereof. Yeah. And so he, even Satan has to understand that. Amen. That there is no greater power than the power of our resurrected Lord. Every knee has to bow. Every tongue has to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. God has exalted Hallelujah. Jesus to the highest place. He's given him a name above every other name. That at the name of Jesus every knee, every knee. Hallelujah. When we call the name of Jesus down in hell trembles at the mention of his name. So why don't we call his name? Hallelujah. When we come into our trials and our problems, call his name. When you're coming to your situation hallelujah call amen. on his name amen amen verse 4 verse 4 galaxy Jesus. tab verse 4 hallelujah call on the power of his name because he has defeated satan yeah. the accuser has been cast down satan has been defeated yes hallelujah hallelujah what will i do with this victory what will I do with this victory? What will I do with this victory, church? Hallelujah. I want you to take the victory for your family and not allow the enemy another day. I want to speak to somebody. Hallelujah. He's trapped in a religious cycle. Hallelujah. Every time we come to Easter, we go through the same motion. Yes, Jesus died for me. Yes, he, 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 his blood was shed. Yes, he come yeah. to wash my sins away. But you have yet to experience that reality in a dark area of your life right now. In a dark area of your family life right now. But you ain't going to see it if you don't stir up your faith uh, and yeah. activate the power of God uh, that is in the word right now. Uh, you've got to say situation I speak to you. Uh, didn't the Lord say if you speak to this mountain uh, you can yeah. tell the mountain to be removed. Yeah. Uh, didn't he say you can speak to the situation uh, yeah. and yeah. there shall be change. Yeah. 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 Sin yeah. don't have no dominion. Yeah. Uh, death yeah. don't reign over me yeah. uh, and Satan you are under my feet. No yeah. weapon yeah. Uh, from the gates we yeah. shall yeah. be able yeah. to yeah. prosper and every tongue that raises up against me we condemn you right now in the name of jesus you don't know the victory that you carry in your mouth you don't know the blood the supernatural blood that runs through your vein you don't know the authority that has been given to you on the cross that you can say satan in the name of jesus the lord god rebuke you let her call on my shadow. Get out of my family. Get out of my marriage. Get out of my finance. Get out of my workplace. Get out of my community. Get out of the street. In the name of Jesus. You can run out of drug addicts. You can run out of Boko. Shut down some stuff in your community because we have authority through the blood of Jesus Christ. We have not been designed to be passive lukewarm Christians. 
We have been strategically placed in key places to manifest this resurrection power. Hey God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In your job, you might be like Elijah, feeling like you're the only one. Manifest and demonstrate that resurrection power. You might be in your family, the only one that is saved. I dare you to resurrect. Hallelujah, to speak that resurrection power over your other family members. Come on, hallelujah. Your body may be wrapped with pain, but you can speak to your body. Slap it up and say in the name of Jesus. Hey, he was wounded for my uh, transgressions. Uh, he was bruised for my uh, iniquities, the chastisement. Uh, and my peace was upon you. Uh, by his stripes, a poor rabbi. Let your toto be the shackle and my corobo yendaraba. Robo shandere. Kiendaraba sayaba. By his stripes, I am healed. I speak healing over your body in the name of Jesus. Healing over your mind in the name of Jesus. Healing over you in the name of the Lord. For there is victory through the resurrected Christ. Hallelujah. By his stripes, we are healed. I need to close. I was reminded this morning. Hallelujah. In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul writes, Who appeared to Jesus? Who Jesus appeared to? Hallelujah. After his death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After he rose from the dead. The word of the Lord tells us that he appeared glory to God from verse verse 5 that he was seen of Cephas of the 12 after that he was seen of above 500 brethren at once of whom the greater part remain unto this present but some are fallen asleep and that he was seen of James then of all the apostles and last of all, he was seen of me. This is Paul, as of one born out of due time. Out of all the names that are all the groups that are mentioned, 504, there's only um, three individual names. Peter, James, and Paul. And what I understand is that Peter denied Jesus three times. James was too close to Jesus as a brother to appropriate him as the Messiah and the Son of God. And Paul was a persecutor of the church until he had an encounter with God. And I want to ask us, which one are we? Which one are we? Which one are we? Are we going to keep coming to Easter, Easter, Easter? and not appropriate the victory that we have and declare in prayer that Lord this situation must change I am not settling for less than what your word says I am not settling for less than what you have promised me I am not my eyes will not close until I see the promise come forth my ticker do you know Simeon extended his life do you know the, pro the prophet Simeon yeah, he told the Lord, he said, Lord, I ain't going to die until I bless the child, Jesus, the promise. Hallelujah. And when he finally got to Jesus, he picked up the child and says, Jesus, you can't take me now. He said, basically, you can't take me now because I've received, I've seen the promise of Israel. Come on, you can declare, God, I will not shift, I will not move until I see your promise come yeah. to pass in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't be like Peter and deny the resurrection power and just pass over every situation. Like God can do it, but God may not want to do it. No, you've got to declare, God, I need you to shift this in my life. I need you to do this for me because God is you can't do it. It cannot be done. But for the glory of God and for your name to be glorified, let this be done according to your will, my God. Are you going to be like James? <laughs> Hallelujah. And just be happy that we have a religious Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank God for Jesus. Oh, he's sweet. You know. My Lord is sweet. My Lord is sweet. Hallelujah. 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 Are we going to be like Peter, like Paul? Yeah, keep attacking, thank you. Keep attacking, hallelujah. Keep attacking the, the, the gospel. Every time we hear about something, yeah, there it goes again. 
pulling down, pulling down, hallelujah, crushing and destroying her. Oh God, oh, are we going to recognize, hallelujah, that there is victory in the cross of Calvary and there is victory through our resurrected Lord to bring change, deliverance, hallelujah, healing, amen, hallelujah, restoration in the name of Jesus. I don't know who you are tonight, but I want to pray with somebody. If you know how to lift the hand emoji, put that hand emoji up. Oh, come on, camera and lift your hands. I want to pray the release of God. I want to pray into your life, into your circumstance. I want to pray into your family. Yes, yes, we see those hands coming up. Amen. I want you to lift your faith and believe God. I don't care if your children are in prison. They're coming out saved. Because I know there is a, a power in Christ for resurrection. I don't care if they're Muslims now. I don't care if they're in alternative lifestyles. I don't care what the story is. There is power in the resurrected blood. And I need somebody to believe that there is power in the resurrected blood. Somebody is believing God for a financial breakthrough and you think you can't ask for it but ask for it God is going to give it you he's going to exceed your expectation hallelujah hallelujah he will do exceeding it and above above what he you ask or think Amen. according to the power of God that is at work God wants to do something supernatural in your life and in your family and in the things that is going on around you and we just release that over you in the name of Jesus Father, we speak over, hallelujah, this network in the name of the Lord. We pray into the lives of those that have put up their hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, because you know what they need. You know what they need. You know what they need. Open up their eyes. Open up their eyes. Give them a fresh revelation of who you are. You are the Messiah. You are the Christ. You are the Son of the living God. You're not prophet, Esau, the prophet. Hallelujah, you're not just a great man that walked on this earth, but you conquered sin, you conquered death, you conquered the grave, and now we have victory, you conquered Satan, and now we have complete victory through you, mighty God, that my body must line up to the will and the word of God, amen, my household must line up to the will and the word of God, my family members, my children must line up to the will, hallelujah, of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in you, mighty God. And we declare that you will release and demonstrate your power over this network. Give us victory, 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 victory in the name of the Lord. I declare victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I speak over your body for healing. I speak over your mind for healing in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Cancers at Tobra Monday and Shakaya. Lobra Masande Rebe Shrinka. Toto Toto on the Yobo Shapa. Reba Baba Koto Robo Yenda Ramashanda Rabaya. Yes, yes, yes. A Koto Shada. Arthritis, we bind you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A Tobra Mashanda Rababaya. I speak freedom and healing every affliction that comes hallelujah to assassinate the kingdom agenda that you have for your people I speak a release over their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every stronghold you're paralyzed now for we release the authority of Christ over you hallelujah hallelujah you tyrant we break your power and your hold in the mighty name of Jesus we speak to minds that are true Troubled. Let the peace of Jesus ease that troubled mind right now. Hallelujah. For he was wounded. He was wounded. Yes, he was wounded. He suffered on the cross for your deliverance. We proclaim it. We declare it right now. In the name of Jesus. Way where children come home. Way where children come home. Find the Savior again. In the name of October. In the name of Jesus. We speak to you in prison. Let the gospel hit you in prison. We speak to you. 
in your prison state. Eto bobo shatta bound in drugs. Come off weed. Come off marijuana. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ebo shanda raba. Endo robo sika bakande ebo shanda. Yes, we break the powers. Ah, that blind your eyes. I'm deafen up your ears that you don't hear. But in the name of Jesus, we speak freedom. And we speak liberty in the Okotor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We break every power and influence of the enemy. Not in my name, but in the name of the resurrected Christ. We speak over that family, that Muslim family right now. Ah, Rebo Shanda Rabba. Ah, over Esther. Ah, Aisha, Zara, their children, uh, and the Muslim family. We speak over them. We pray for them. In the name of Jesus, yes. they release. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That stronghold yes. that is holding them hostage. You better know that there is power in the church to pray and remove you. For God has given us keys to the kingdom. What we bind on earth, hallelujah, is bound in the heaven. Heavens, uh, and what we lose on earth, this is the authority that yes. Jesus has given us. Uh, as a church, uh, we pray for their release right now. We command them to be freedom uh, and liberty yes. through the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who makes and yes. sets us free. Yes. Hallelujah, right yes. now, Father God. Uh, hallelujah, do it as your church come together and unite and say, Amen, Amen, Amen. 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 So amen. shall it be established. Uh, we thank you for miracles. Uh, we thank you for testimonies. Uh, yes. We thank you for breakthroughs that are coming yes. because the resurrected king is resurrecting me yes we are arising in the power of your spirit and running with patience what you have said before us every frustration every oppression is leaving and the power of god energizes us the yes. power of god strengthens us in the inner man and we arise in the power of the holy ghost and we proclaim this great victory this great gospel for we are not ashamed of the power of God. For it is the power of God of the salvation. Hallelujah to them that believe. We confess tonight that we believe. We believe. Yes. Yes. Lift your faith, church. Lift your faith. Let the Lord minister to your faith right now. Lift your faith. Lift your faith. Yes, we bind the spirit of suicide and death over our young people right now in the name of Jesus. We declare deliverance for the captives. Set them free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ila mashanda na bakuria, reba baba wa, kendo robo shanda. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, come and lift your face. I don't need to hear, but let me feel you in the spirit. Lift your face and believe again. Hallelujah! That this is not an Easter story, but this is a revelational reality. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody praise him. Come on. There's a shifting, there's a breaking. There's a breakthrough coming for you, for you, for you, for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's coming into your home. It's coming into your home. It's coming into your circumstance. In the name of Jesus. We call forth the purpose of God for Janiah. Your life will not be taken and you will not take your life in the name of Jesus. We bind every spirit of intimidation and fear from your life and anxiety and every bully we declare they shall be awakened to the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Minister and save these children. We've been praying for revival in our youth. Revival in the children. Out of the mouths of babes. Mighty God of Oceania, bring forth perfect praise, mighty yes, God. Turn yes. this situation around with Janiah. Amen. Cover her with the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. We break the power of death. We break the power of suicide yes. from her life. It's not your will. It's not your will. It's not your will. But we speak your will, mighty God. We speak your will over this situation. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done in the name of
of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, stir up your faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There might be a storm coming. Stir up your faith so that you can speak to the storm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A mountain might be coming into your life next week. But stir up your faith. There is resurrection power available unto us who believe, who believe, who believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To them that believe, nothing, 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 nothing. To them that believe, nothing. Now I want somebody to receive that. To them that believe, nothing is impossible. To them that believe, your face is only hanging on. But believe again, believe again, believe again. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Amen. Hallelujah Thank to you. them yes, that Lord. believe. Amen. I believe you tonight, God. I believe if you believe, just write in the chat. I believe. I believe. Just say it around you. I believe. Speak to your wall. Speak to your curtain. Speak to your teddy bear. Speak to something. Say, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe. I believe. I believe. And because we believe. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He will not put us to shame. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you tonight. Amen. Amen. The Lord strengthen you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. I believe. believe. Hallelujah. And I'm going to see it. I'm going to receive it. And I'm going to have it. Yes. I need to go. I just want to share this with you. You know, the other day, my aunties are here. They can tell you. I couldn't get out of my bed because something happened in my back. And the doctor said it was called cocodinia, something like that. Never had it before. But the pain was so much, if I was lying down, I couldn't get up. And when I finally could maneuver myself up, I couldn't go back down. But one day I got up, put on this heat pad, amen, and tried to keep myself active. The heat pad was too hot, so I took it off. Hallelujah. And uh, although I took it off, I could still feel the heat. So I said, maybe some of the water got into my clothes. But not for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven, eight hours. I have this heat in my back. And when I woke up in the morning till this very day, I've not felt a single pain. I'm up and I'm active. Wow. Hallelujah. And I Hallelujah. suddenly realized that was the power of the Holy Ghost. He surprised Amen. me suddenly. Come on. Amen. You believe, Amen. you better believe that God Amen. can surprise you. He can surprise you and come into your situation yes. suddenly, suddenly. Yes. Yes. And yes. I thank yes. God. I thank God. So believe because with God, all things are possible. Listen, I love you. God bless you. If I don't stop, we're going to be here till 10 o'clock. Bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.